2009, and uh, we're with Juju. Juju, what do you think of the show? Well, I haven't had a look at the show, but there's a few works in particular that I like. Um, um, particularly one, you know, over there with um, it's, it's quite it's quite abstract. It's hard, no, not abstract. It's quite hard to understand, but it's a it's a beautiful work with a Christmas tree and some presents, and it's, it really holds that religi religious spirit. And um, yeah. The religious spirit. The, the new head of the National Arts School, Anita Taylor. Oh, and welcome to the Black Pride. Yes. The National Arts School. Welcome to us. Oh, thank you so much, Lauren. I love your gloves. They're just magnificent. Thank you. Thank you. You're almost matching the bunny rabbit. I think you should go hop away, frolic off in the... Let's go hop away to the bunny rabbit. Okay. Good, good, good. What do you think of the spirituality of the Blake Prize? I think it's a, quite a diverse collection that we have here tonight. It's fabulous to see that we have works across all media, mm. uh, including video, of course. And Yeah, uh, our very own in-house video recording. And I have to say that it really shows that spirituality crosses through all areas of Australian life. I mean, surfboards, mm. the surfboards, fabulous. The idea of the horse and the, the racing industry, also another fabulous you know, sculpture. We've got installation, video, and it's terrific to see that in this day and age, in the 21st century, there are still people who think that religion is a worthwhile subject. Mm. How do you think the horse specifically relates to religion? Well, maybe it's because every time someone feels like they're losing at the races, they pray to God that their horse comes oh, in. Oh, that's a great call, isn't it, Lorraine? I'm hearing about the spirituality of the Blake Prize. I actually think it's got to be about ceramics. Dust to dust, ashes to ashes. <laughs> There's <Earth. one. laughs> last, last year, a ceramic piece won this prize. Yeah. We are, are all ultimately go back to the earth. Yeah. And the earth should be well and truly here, being represented. And it's here. Avatar Schaefer, Joy Bai, and one of the Hermansburg potters downstairs. Bingo, baby, it's done. Do you know this particular potter over I in the do. corner? Avatel Shaif is uh, an Israeli woman who lives in Queensland now, and her work has, uh, has certainly got a very spiritual quality about it. Beautiful. Now, I like the way he's holding his hands, and then that relates to the way the sculpture. This is my most friendly sculpture because the hand is being outreached and so I just want to do this thing. It is a pretty good plate prize. It is. I think so. So you might give it to me this year. Sure. Thank you. Is this your child? No, no, no. But it, you rented a child for the night? Oh, do I have to hold this? What are the ethical principles here on an artist using a live human being on an artwork like that? This is so perfect. The way he's holding his hand is exactly the same way the horse is holding the hand. They're like, what is that about, Stephen? I think it's it's a, a lot of trouble. I think it's a testimonial to, you know, how obviously comfortable the younger generation are with the yeah. work. So, so he's so enjoyed the work that he sympathetically placed his body in a kinesthetic way to actually enjoy the work. Isn't that fantastic? Well, that children actually can appreciate art at that kind of primal level. favorite work this evening. I really like Francois Limon's exit sign, exist sign next to the exit oh, wow. sign. That's extraordinary. Now if you'd like to follow me Emerald, we're going to interview Francois Limon standing in front of his work Exist. Would you like to say a few words for Art Patrol? That's my new favorite work now. Wow. Congratulations Francois. Thank you very much. You'll notice he's wearing a beautiful original hand printed T-shirt? T-shirt is a real work. I have to get in the black to make my T-shirt. What inspired you to do this work, Francois? Yeah, I was angry against God, so I said, please, exist. You were angry against God, and is this something you've been angry about for a long time? Not really. It was just for the price to get in. <laughs> do you think God exists? <laughs> It's a question I ask. Please exist. 
But the most important is to be in the prize, not to be part of the show, not to win, like the Olympics. That's right, it's like the Olympics. Well, congratulations. Thank you. What is your favorite work apart from the Euro? Uh, I think the winning video was a very good prize, a winner. A cry for help was my favorite video. The work is great, is stunning, is so spiritual. Which is my favorite work? This is my favorite work? We'll talk to the curator of the Blake Prize 2009. She's done a fabulous job. Katie, congratulations. Thanks, Emily. I just adored the show. I thought it was absolutely magnificent. I particularly liked Mr. and Mrs. work, which was absolutely splendid in the corner. I know, it's actually, I'm really, really so happy with how much um, video work is in this year. But in general, there's amazingly good contemporary artists in the Blake. We were just saying, you know, it's really lifted the, the standard in the a way. The standard, so, yeah. and it's sort of in, in inspired uh, emerging artists to participate in the show which is really exciting. Yes. And the work that we've just seen, which is our impromptu camera fellow, which is I Exist, um, is oh, yeah. actually one of my favorites. Oh, oh, the one above the door. Yes. Yeah. I know. Well, I'm yeah. glad you spotted it. We were a bit worried some people might overlook that. And this is another good work. Hilton McCormick, actually. I think this is a really beautiful. I love the lights and the iridescent sort of glistening uh, Gilland. I think that's uh, most spectacular, actually. <clears throat> Melissa Ramos. Mmm. Interesting. Mm. Nana, she's one of my favorite. Uh, she's just a beautiful woman. She's a recent graduate of the National Arts School. Evil and devilish, but um, it certainly is impressive. Thank you so much, and stay tuned.